Hi, welcome to the video. My name is Oscar, and today I'm going to show you the top ways in which software engineers use calculus to solve problems and create unique ways of earning money. So, have you ever wondered how when you go online shopping or browsing, when suddenly the things you're thinking of pop right up in front of you as an advertisement or a product that allows you to immediately go ahead and buy it? Yeah, we've all experienced it. And no, they don't have an actual spy in your house. But it turns out, they kind of do. Devices that you've signed in all day around your home have microphones that pick up your voices, they log all your personal information, track your screen time, sees what size you've, you visit the most, and what you've looked at and how long you've looked at it for. Yeah, what a world we live in. Now, who's doing this and how are they doing it? Well, today I'm going to show you that this is everything to do with computer algorithms, which are code created by clever software engineers who try and figure out everything possible to make more money at the end of the day. Now, how are these algorithms implemented, you might ask? Well, we'll get into that. Part 1. Efficient Web Design First, software engineers try maximizing the number of products that they can fit dynamically onto a user's screen. Similar in use case to other related fields such as computer science and game development. Software engineers uses the calculus method of derivatives in solving optimization, optimization problems. In this case, using the following properties of perimeter length, side length, area, and cost, software engineers maximize the amount of products being displayed with a maximum profit. Then, in part two, we'll get to machine learning. After continuous searches, clicks, and collecting data of viewing times for specific ages, pages, software engineers utilize specific machine learning models that predict patterns from data and output products under the screen most likely to be of interest from the user. This is done using neural networks, and within them, calculus and derivative, derivatives are used to solve optimization problems. In this case, a 3D plane is used to illustrate the use of 2D inputs, which are X and Y, and a single output. The cost function, which shows as the height of the graph, the cost function measures, measures how well a machine learning model's predictions match the true or actual values. We want to lower this value, which increases the model's accuracy. To do this, we see that this is the cost function, and we really want to find these values, the lowest cost, which equals the highest accuracy. To do this, we have a goal of finding the local minimum values. And to do this, we take the derivative, set it equals to zero, and then solve it. After that, we check if the slope is increasing or decreasing between the maximum and minimum points where the slope equals zero. Then, if decreasing is less than x, which is less than increasing, we know the point at x is a minimum. So, by doing this, we found the lowest cost, which results in the lowest deviation, therefore the maximum accuracy of the algorithm. In simpler terms, this creates more distinct values separating what the user is probably unlikely to be interested in from what the user is definitely interested in. It's kind of neat how it works and how it all depends on calculus. So let's get on to the conclusion. In conclusion, calculus allows efficient design increasing efficiency and enables the operation of machine learning and creates algorithms that accurately predict the human mind. All this shows the usefulness of calculus as a software engineer, and that is just a small part of what makes calculus important in today's world. That was probably a lot to take in, but that's it for the video. Thank you, Ms. Tackerberry, and the class for watching. Bye-bye.